And I don't see STEM as being an extra, a lunchtime club, a visit and so on, and then it doesn't impact on our GCSE and A-level results. I think the two things go together. I think enrichment and success in terms of examination outcomes and so on, I think they're very closely interlinked. We've seen the impact of STEM because if you look at our science results, particularly you know, over the last three or four years, at GCSC, we can see that there's been significant progress. Results in maths, um, science and technology have all risen um, steadily and in fact quite dramatically in the last um, two or three years. Um, and I do feel that that is a definite impact of the work that we've done around STEM. Science results, uh, the highest they've been for a number of years, uh, technology have uh, consistently maintained high levels of results above national averages and uh, we've seen a dramatic improvement in our math results in, in, within the last uh, year. In normal lessons we just normally read in textbook maybe physics uh, or you know the electronic components and stuff like that but here we actually get to use them and everything like that. So you really start to build a team where the aspirations are raised and they see a really big picture. It's not just the picture that's within the school classroom. It's about uh, what's happening in the outside world. We found that they definitely matured and were able to access the, the, the normal lessons that sometimes they might have found a bit dry previous to this. Why are we doing the maths? Well, now they knew why they were doing the maths. They knew that they needed a C to get the apprenticeship. It gave them that realistic goal. Yes, I can get a C, I'm clever enough, and it can take me on to this apprenticeship here. Look at the ramp behind you there. You can see the distance from the ground there to where the ramp is at the top there, where that, that distance... Um, I'm quite sure that the students are aware of how much they're doing, how much above and beyond they're, they're looking at. One of the moments that I think I was probably most proud was actually while we were at CERN, and we were looking at some live results on the screen, and it was being spoken about, and uh, the team I was with, instead of just looking at the screen with a guy kind of talking about some, some results, it wasn't just a load of random lines, they knew what they meant, and they, they could talk to the guy and ask him sensible questions, about the, the live results that they were looking at. The skills they're developing through STEM um, are applicable in all their other subjects as well. And they get excited about it. And we know that, you know, if they get excited at, in year seven and eight, they stay excited, they're much more likely to want to do their subjects at GCSE and then continue to do their subjects at A-level. And our numbers in A-level physics was, are 26 this year in year 12. Uh, and that's a... a you know, it's about a 100% increase on last year. It was about, fifth, well, it was about 13, 14, 15, I think, last year. Uh, the year before that was less, and the year before that was even less. When I started here, I think we had about two kids, two students in year 13 doing um, physics, and now we've got 26 in year 12.